Hi there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel and it's another lovely day. It's the 29th of December, still no snow in the UK. Um, yeah, but thank you for passing through. If it's the first time, you're welcome to subscribe, like and share. I was given this topic by TT, one of my subscribers, and um, he want, I'm not quite sure if he's a vegan, but this is about Vigu Annery. It's about being a vegan for the month of January. But the Areva buses in Shropshire and Telford took down the vegan, um, the veganary um, adverts because of complaints. Now, um, I don't know. Well, I have my views on why they might have taken them down and who the complaints came from. Because when you think 2017, there was a 10 million farmlands up for sale. And um, if that was bought, it's going to affect profits, of course. So a lot of times when you think about people who protest against veganism, it's usually to do with profits. For us, the regular John Joe, I mean, I'm not a vegan. I've never thought about becoming a vegan. But, you know, I understand its merits. And when I watched Babe... I think I was a vegan for about a week. You know, the, the, the movie Babe with the cartoons. Oh, I was crying and all sorts. But when I saw that, it kind of showed me that animals could technically have feelings. Well, we know they have feelings. People have dogs and cats in their homes as pets. They know that they, these, these animals have feelings. They're sensitive. They're, you know, they have foresight. They have perception. So we know that. But, you know, God gave man dominion over the animals in order to survive. I don't think he gave them dominion over the animals to make a profit from them. But that is what's happening. And because of that, we are being protected from the reality of what happens to animals. I'm sure that if I saw how animals were killed, like how a cow was killed... Um, chickens, I mean, eating eggs, and we know that they're baby, they baby chickens and stuff like that. If we knew how they were killed and that was on our screens every day, I'm sure the majority of us would become vegans. But it's not promoted. So we all eat as normal. We might not eat as much meat as we used to do, but that's to do with diet. Sometimes it's to do with whether or not you can afford it. There's all kind of components why people um, still eat meat and why some, some people don't, even though they know that it's a struggle on the digestive system. So I'm not here to preach veganism. I'm here to kind of um, highlight about this vegan URI which is a non-profit organisation. It's global and they promote um, veganism for the month of January. Um, and, you know, I was trying to think, why January as opposed to any other month? Well, I'm trying to think it's a psychological thing. Um, we ha It's the time when people make new resolutions. It's a time when you want to make change. It's a time when most people want to go on a diet. So when, what better time to promote vegan urari it's really a hard word to say but vegan in january um other than january for 30 days okay so the arriva buses were forced to take down um veganary adverts that were paid for because of complaints and this was in december the 22nd and that was the buses the arriva buses based in telford and shropshire um, like I said, a farming estate went up for sale in 2017 um, for 10 million in that same area. So I've got a funny feeling it's got to do with the farming culture in that area and how that's how farmers make their profit. Um, we'll also have, you know, butchers don't want to lose money. Fishmongers don't want to lose money. Supermarkets don't want to lose money. It is a money making thing. I mean, killing animals is a money making thing. And when you think of, of it from that perspective, it's not so great. But um, 
we're all protected from the uncomfortable truths of how animals are killed to provide produce for the butchers, fishmongers and supermarkets. Like I said, Vegan Uary is a global non-profit organisation that rose in 2014 to encourage people to go vegan for a month of January as a way of promoting and educating people about the vegan lifestyle. Um, I was thinking about Celebrity in the Jungle. Are they vegan? But no, apparently there's animal fats. And so that's not a vegan survival. And plus, uh, they had vegans on there who actually ate meat or animal products for, through survival. They'd been on a bush trucker tile and they decided, even though they were vegan, before they went in, they ended up eating um, animals or animal fats. So um, that's the difference between vegetarian and vegan. Vegan, there's no animal fats at all, nothing to do with animals and with vegetarian. They can have dairy and they can have eggs, stuff like that. Um, so, if you did become a vegan, like suppose you wanted to try it out for the month of January, you would have to forego meat, fish, dairy, eggs and honey. It does give you, I mean, you can always have pasta, you can always have, um, vegetables, stuff like that, nuts. I mean, there is quite a wide choice. It's just that you would have to adjust to that new lifestyle for a month. Um, it's good for weight loss, of course. And, and for every vegan, every single vegan, it saves 200 man animals a year. For one vegan, 200 animals a year. That's how many are saved. Um, if vegetarianism was adopted by 2050, it would stave off 7 million deaths. I'm assuming that's human deaths per year, while veganism can stave off 8 million deaths a year. New statistics show that if 350,000 people worldwide go vegan for 2020, it will save 41,200 tonnes of CO2 in EQ from the atmosphere, which is equivalent to 450,000 flights from London to Berlin. It would save 160 tonnes of PO43 EQ. Um, they put eutroph eutrophication, and I looked that up. Eutrophication is a loss of nutri nutrients in natural resources and a propensity for bacteria. Um, because of that overuse of oxygen. So that's how much it would save. 2.5 million litres of water, which is equivalent to a large Olympic swimming pool, and it would save more than 1 million animals. So we are protected from um, knowing about the atrocities of how animals are killed, apparently, Cows are separated from their calves within 24 hours. And I don't know, there's all sorts of things that are going on. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to raise awareness, I guess. And I hope I've done that. That's all for now. The links are below if, you, if you're interested in becoming a vegan. And um, yeah, I'm interested in taking part of being a vegan for a month, even if you just want to try it out. Okay, then bye-bye.